What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out the brand new World Legacy archetype that just got revealed. These guys are coming out in Savage Strike, if you guys remember the story so far. In Soul Fusion, it was getting pretty damn dark. Long Girasu, or Ningirasu as he used to be called, he went kinda crazy mad scientist. He was trying to bring his dead sister, Ib, who died in Flames of Destruction, back to life. Avram had kinda been messing around in the forest with the Crusadia during Cybernetic Horizon when those two, well, I guess when they met and, uh, you know, Avram found out with uh, Long Gears who did. He was kind of crazy mad and they ended up fighting and it's actually interesting because Avram is in the picture of one of these cards so I wonder if that means that Ningirisu or Long Gears who ended up dying or what exactly happened between those two but let's go ahead and check out the brand new Guard Dragon archetype. We have 11 cards to discuss so I gotta <laughs> so I gotta get rolling on this. It's an interesting archetype because I feel like a lot of these cards are actually just good generic cards for Dragon although I'm not really sure if this archetype is going to function all that well as a standalone archetype so the first card is used the other guard dragon it's a water dragon tuner normal monster level two zero attack 2100 defense interesting that it's a tuner there are no synchros for this archetype as far as i can tell but konami did that with crusadia too it's another deck that was link based but they gave it a tuner randomly i think that you know it doesn't always amount to anything but i don't know there could be i don't know there, there could be the option to give the deck a, a synchro here and there down the line next up we have Gramati's the guard dragon this is an earth dragon monster level three 1600 attack 1000 defense first and second effects are both hard once returns uh first effect says if a normal monster is sent to your graveyard you can special summon this card from your hand effect number two if this card is in your graveyard you can send one dragon monster from your hand to the graveyard add this card to your hand so i think what konami wants you to do here is kind of use these effects in reverse get this card in the graveyard or i guess you can summon it use it for a link summon or whatever if it's in your graveyard you send your eustia to the grave you add this guy to your hand and then you should be able to go ahead and special summon it because they're both if effects so it can't miss timing so I can kind of understand how they want you to do that there. Seems like an okay card overall. Next up, we have uh, Prominences of the Guard Dragon. This is a Fire Dragon. Level 1, 500 attack, 200 defense. The second effect is the Hard Once Per Turn. First effect says you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one dragon monster you control. It gains 500 attack and defense until the end of your opponent's turn. All right, so very similar to like um, Thunder Dragon Origin, but it's not a quick effect. I really wish this was a quick effect so you could use it during like the damage step during your opponent's turn. That'd be kind of nice. Effect number two, if this card is in the graveyard while a normal monster is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. All right. So I think that what they want you to do is use this effect first and then use uh, Grimades and then, you know, get your Eustia uh, in the graveyard, summon your Grimades and then summon this card back from the uh, from you, from your graveyard to the field and then can, you know, continue to like link summon and whatnot. I think that that definitely makes sense. Next up, we have a very powerful level four monster. This is Andrake the Guard Dragon. It's a Wind Dragon, level four, 2000 attack, 600 defense. Cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be special summoned by a card effect. The first and the second effects are both hard once per turn, but you can use them both in the same turn. All right, so the summoning condition of this card is pretty identical to Felis, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, you gotta summon this off of an effect that can be like Monster Reborn, Call of the Haunted, Reasoning, something of that sort. The first effect says, if this card is special summoned from the hand or deck, you can double this card's original attack and defense until the end of this turn. Man, that's a lot of damage coming out of a, coming out of a level four monster, potentially having a four thousand attacker let's just say i don't know best case scenario you activate reasoning boom out comes this guy he has four thousand attack that's a lot of damage and you know maybe you run reasoning in this deck all the monsters have different levels so you know there's that effect number two if this card is special summon from the graveyard or if this banished card is special summon you can target one monster your opponent controls destroy it i like that effect just as much actually i think i like it even more because it's really practical and it can serve as disruption right like let's just say your opponent's trying to link summon for i don't know their boss monster or something like that activate call of the haunted bring this guy back from the graveyard you get to blow up one of their monsters and you still get a 2000 attacker so this kind of makes like anytime it's brought back from the graveyard kind of turns it into a plus one reminds me of like trap tricks mermilio that card used to blow up spells and traps this one blows up monsters so actually is pretty good in my opinion i just man i wish there was some way to normal some of the damn thing then we have a trio of link monsters and it's really interesting because all the link monsters in this archetype you 
you can only special summon them once per turn and they all have um the, a, a restriction where you can only special summon dragon monsters as well let's go ahead and first start off with the first link one this is lp the guard dragon it's a dark dragon link one a thousand attack points to the left so you know it's gonna be a little maybe a little difficult to use but we'll see it requires a level four or lower dragon monster so everything in the archetype we just talked about also shout outs to rockets i'll talk about those in a, a minute and the first effect is uh you cannot special summon monsters except dragon monsters second effect is the hard ones per turn it's the summoning effect during your main phase you can special summon one dragon monster from your hand or deck to a zone two or more link monsters are pointing to so this is the question we got to ask ourselves in this archetype <laughs> how easy is it going to be without having help from from your opponent right like if your opponent has a monster pointing up towards you like deco talker or kagari it might be actually quite easy to pull that off because that effect is incredibly powerful you're talking about being able to summon any dragon monster from your deck which you can get the last card that we just talked about and that'll be pretty nice because his effect will activate you can get an andrake but being able to pull like big boss monsters like a blue eyes white dragon out of your deck that's pretty damn good the next one is pisty the dark or pisty the guard dragon it's basically the same exact card as uh lp it's very similar it's a dark dragon link one a thousand attack as well it points to the right and uh this one requires the same summoning condition one level four or lower uh dragon monster which is again everything you cannot special summon monsters except dragon monsters uh that's the effect number one and you can only summon one pisty that turn so the second effect says you can target one of your dragon monsters that is banished or in your graveyard special summon it to a zone two or more link monsters are pointing to again that's a really good effect i just wonder if that's going to be easy to do because this requires you to have at least two link monsters or there has to be two link monsters on the field for you to resolve that whether your opponent controls one or not you still got to have two link monsters on the field that might not be the easiest thing especially if you're playing against somebody like true draco somebody who's not going to link summon they're not going to help you out the last this one is a card that i do believe will see some significant play even if it's in some obscure decks like rockets this is um this is argapane the guard dragon it's a dark dragon link monster link to 1500 attack it points up towards your opponent top and then points down towards you bottom and of course special summoning it it's a hard once per turn first effect is the same as the other link monsters you cannot special summon monsters except dragons the second effect is so ridiculously powerful of this card or, or or with this card it says during your main phase you can special summon one dragon monster from your extra deck to a zone on your field or extra monster zone that two or more link monsters are pointing to i want to tell you guys some of the cards that you can summon with this you can summon hot red dragon archery in abyss you can summon crystal wing synchro dragon you can summon borlo dragon borl sword dragon you can summon crystal wing synchro dragon you can summon uh, number 38 titanic galaxy there are so many ridiculously powerful good cards whether they're stun cards or just damage cards that you can get with this i think a deck like rockets is tailor made for this rockets already well all their monsters can summon this uh you know because they're all dragons and then rockets already play a lot of those link monsters anyway like ball load and ball sword dragon so you'll, you won't really have to add that much to your extra deck and rockets are obviously they're accustomed to link summoning so it's, it's not going to be anything out of their wheelhouse so i think that this card will actually fit into a lot of dragon decks in my opinion well dragon decks from the Vrains era especially next up is guard dragons barrier this is a field spell and the first effect is a hard once per turn you can target one dragon monster you control it gains 100 attack and defense times link rating total of all link monsters on the field until the end of your opponent's turn i just realized that that counts link monsters on your opponent's side of the field as well that can be incredibly powerful if your opponent has like a link four and a link three on the field that 700 attack that you'll gain without even having any link monsters on your side of the field that's pretty nifty once per turn this is the second effect if exactly one dragon monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effects you can send one normal monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard instead that seems okay obviously a lot of those monsters work with like normal monsters being sent to the graveyard i just wonder how often that's going to come up i mean i guess during your opponent's turn it should happen a fair amount because if your opponent is trying to attack then that's exactly one monster as well then we have a couple of well we have a couple of continuous cards a trap and a spell the trap card or no the spell card i think is actually pretty good this is guard dragon of the world legacy 
Avram is once again in the picture. It says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. So even activating this card is a hard one per turn. It says the first effect is when this card is activated, you can target one level four or lower dragon monster in your graveyard. Either add it to your hand or special summon it. Again, think of a deck like think of a deck like Rockets. This is basically Monster Reborn. <laughs> effect number two: once per turn, you can target one dragon monster you control, move it to another main monster zone on your field. Um, I guess that this is supposed to be the way that you move your link monsters around to make them all kind of point to certain zones. I don't know, man. Effects like this have not really been successful so far in the Vrains era, other than like the Neck Knight of Purple Nightfall. That one's been pretty good, but most of these effects haven't been that good. We have a continuous trap card called Guard Dragon's Awakening. This is a card that uh, is also a hard once per turn. It says you can send one effect monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one level four or lower norm dragon normal monster from your hand deck or graveyard and defense position um okay i i guess i don't but like it's it summons a normal monster why is that why is that so powerful that doesn't i mean konami made it a hard once per turn they're acting like it's so powerful it doesn't really seem that good i mean you're getting a normal monster at the end of the day i mean if you got to summon any dragon monster that was level four or lower i could kind of see that but a normal dragon i'm not sure about that but the last card i think is actually one of the best cards in this archetype and it's called guard dragon of corruption man why does it have to be an evil card why does the corruption card have to be like one of the best cards it's a trap card and it says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn tribute one dragon monster then target two cards on the field destroy them hello mother freaking rockets you just got your defensive card in fact even a deck like blue eyes would love a card like this this card is absolutely amazing tributing and targeting is a cost but you're talking about basically every dragon deck in Yu-Gi-Oh just got Icarus attack <laughs> this card is so good in my opinion I think a lot a lot of dragon decks will love this card I 100% see this card seeing play this might actually be the best card in the archetype to be honest because it's, it's the simplest and the most practical of all these cards but you guys let me know because I don't want to go on for like 30 minutes about this archetype what do you think of the guard dragons I just I don't know if they're gonna function that well on their own I kind of look at this and I'm like oh, this this shit just seems like rocket support to be honest you know what i mean whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos and check out these other videos i know you'll enjoy